all know Christmas is a time for surprises. But this year it's not just the more thoughtful gifts under the tree that are set to delight us on the big day. We reckon some of the biggest and best footy thrills can be found at Waitrose this Christmas. Continuing to partner with Britain's most inventive chef, the inimitable Heston Blumenthal, Waitrose, is ensuring that some of the season's most memorable moments will take place on your dinner plate. With a catalogue of over 30 show-stopping festive treats, including a tantalising melting chocolate sprout, he'll have you wondering if the proof really is in the pudding. Scroll down for video Blumenthal's infamous meat fruit starter, a permanent fixture on the menu, at his award-winning London restaurant, dinner at the Mandarin Oriental Hotel, which comprises a mandarin if the lightest chicken liver parfait, has excited diners since day one, proving him to be a master of food deception. And who could forget the remarkable sounding snail porridge or the signature bacon and egg ice cream? both regularly featured on the three Michelin starred menu at the Fat Duck. Happily, Heston's range with Waitrose allows us all to partake in his characteristic culinary trickery at a mere fraction of the price. And top of our shopping lists this year is his brand new melting chocolate, Sprout. Employing every iota of the showmanship and cunning we'd expect from the man himself, Blumenthal, and his team have created a dish set to turn the most divisive aspect of Christmas dinner, the humble, Brussels sprout, into something incredibly tempting. Designed to look just like a giant Brussels sprout, complete with realistically textured leaves, the melting, Chocolate Sprout is formed from a brightly hued green chocolate domed shell that can't fail to get people talking. But, following the trend for hidden reveal puddings as popularized by Channel 4's first dates, the Sprout is then flooded with a warm salted caramel sauce, with all the appearance of a delicious, rich gravy. Causing the green chocolate exterior to melt away, exposing a hidden center of 18 green, Profiterial sprouts filled with a zesty lime creme pâtissière that perfectly offsets the rich chocolate and the sweetly salty caramel. But beware. This indulgent creation is so realistic you might need to reassure your guests that no actual sprouts were used in the making of this dessert. As Heston says, the dishes that have caused the biggest response from our guests at the Fat Duck are, those that look like something they are not. What can be more fun at Christmas than playing with your, guests' minds and taste buds that will leave everyone talking? Continuing his reign as the master of disguise, the Heston from Waitrose the Edibles collection is, another triumph of delicious deception. Styled simply as Christmas tree decorations, these beautiful creations are actually edible and come in a range of unexpected flavors in a celebration of curiosity. We love the boozy yet creamy eggnog variety, but gingerbread and candy cane both come a close second, all blended with the most luxurious Swiss truffle chocolate. And it doesn't end there either. Gin lovers should pop the surprising Heston from Moitro Citrus Sherbet, Lazy Gin right at the top of their Christmas lists, so called because the gin has been crafted with such a depth of zuni flavors, from Eureka lemons, Persian limes and basil, that your usual citrus slice is made redundant. Serve over ice with Mediterranean tonic to intensify the sherbet flavor, and you're good to go. Anyone who missed out on previous runaway successes like the Hidden Orange or Hidden Clementine Christmas puddings need fear not. These beauties are both back this year and continue to intrigue and delight.
with a richly spiced vine fruit flavors before the piece de resistance of the hidden candied citrus, center is to your Christmas guests. For a taste of the exoticism and unexpected that we've come to expect from Heston, and a lighter take, on the traditional Christmas pudding, pick up the sophisticated Heston from Waitrose Persian Spiced Christmas Pudding. Think deep, dark damask rose, sticky honey, luxurious pistachios and all the headiness of the spice trail, encased in a spectacularly shimmering pudding that hides a molten honey butter center, for a spot of post-lunch theater on the big day. If you're looking to embrace a retro Christmas this year, however, you'll be wanting to stick a Heston from Waitrose Black Forest Panettone in your trolley instead. The past few years have seen the classic Italian Christmas dessert explode in popularity, even outselling our homegrown much-loved Christmas puddings 2 to 1 at one point last year, but of course Heston's offering, presented in a festive gift box, is anything but traditional. Instead, he's embracing all the fun of Christmas past giving it a fabulously 70s-style makeover, complete, with candied cherries and nostalgia-heavy Kirsch cherry liquor on the inside with dark chocolate and sour cherries to finish, which is set to rekindle all those old Christmas party memories of Black Forest, Coteau gone by. And what Christmas would be complete without mince pies? Served warm with a dash of cream, they're the ultimate yuletide treat. But trust Heston to give them an unexpected twist. His spiced short crust mince pies with lemon combine richly fruited mincemeat, delectable lemon curd, a zesty all butter crumble topping and spiced short crust pastry. We can't see a box of these lasting, very long. And anyone who fancies themselves as a bit of a whiz in the kitchen and wishes to try a spot of culinary, wizardry should take a look at the Waitrose website. Dig into a plethora of recipes for the ultimate, Christmas with a twist, like the very best roast potatoes and these Brussels sprouts Heston style, not the chocolate variety this time though. Heston's Brussels Sprouts serves 6 ingredients 400g Brussels Sprouts 5 smoked bacon rashers 50g unsalted butter. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.